So tonight I wanted to show off something different than um, snakes. We may look at a couple of snakes, but something different than snakes, something we just started using, uh, and we're in the process of converting over from our old way of doing things to the new way of doing things. And that is using herperpro.com uh, husbandry tracking software. And this stuff is really, really cool. Uh, go to herperpro.com and download the free trial. It's a 15-day free trial. And check it out. It, it, uh, I'm going to tell you, I've, I've been really impressed. Uh, I used to use Degai for a long time. And I'll be honest with you, Degai got to be a little, uh, a little bit of a hassle to import all of my animals into. And, um... This stuff is not. It's not really that bad. Um, you know, and what it does is it, it allows you to print these QR codes for your animals so that you can just use your cell phone to update feeding records or breeding or whatever. And, uh, and then you can uh, uh, just import it from their mobile website. That's something what that is on the bottom of that. Anyway, um, and not only that, but for babies, I'll show this too. For babies, what it what it allows me to print out, and, and I like this, is it allows me to print out basically uh, almost like a, a clutch card kind of thing or a feeding card, and We'll just we'll just pick one here. Uh, all right, so here's an albino spider that we just hatched out. All right, so right now she doesn't have a, a pin or a rack number. This is her ID. She's female, 2013 spider albino number one. She has the same QR code so that I can scan this piece of paper and update her feeding records automatically. Um, it tells you when that was printed on. It shows that she's a female. It allows me to put a picture right there of the animal for photo identification. Then on the back, here's the feeding data um, for this animal. And then it, it's basically it just prints on a um, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. If I can get it unfolded here. And then on the inside is for if you're breeding anyone. Um, because she's a female, it lists any sires that you may breed to her. And then over here, they're working on being able to do any kind of clutch information, stuff like that. Medical data. If for any reason I was having to treat this animal for any kind of respiratory infection or injury or, you know, whatever might be going on, um, I have the ability to make notes here. And I'll show the software, too. Um, We'll, we'll cut here in just a minute, and I'll go to the software. But, uh-oh, dropping, dropping my cards everywhere. But uh, the other thing it allows you to do is is keep track of all your clutch mates. You know, I can keep track of the fact that, you know, these four animals are siblings. And it'll tell me that. And it'll tell me that their mom and dad was the same. They were hatched on the same date, you know. And, uh... And I can use, like I say, you can just use any QR code scanner to scan these QR codes. And then it brings up their mobile website that allows you to, uh, to update your, your records for your animals. And honestly, I bought the full version. I mean, let's look at that clutch here real quick. These animals have not yet started eating. I'm trying to do this one-handed again. But, uh, these animals have not yet started eating. I just hatched these out, and they just shed. But here's a new little animal that we just were able to... Look, that little snake just wants to roll the snot out of me, doesn't it? That we just hatched out. This is an albino spider. A little female albino spider. Pretty cool. This is the first albinos we've ever hatched. Uh, look at that head. 
It's pretty neat. So anyway, it allows me to um, to keep track of that. Uh, there's a spider albino, if anybody's, or a spider head albino. Uh, that's a female, and then I've got a, a male and a female head albino, if anybody's interested. So we'll cut, and then uh, I'll show the uh, the software here in just a minute.